Thank you, Mr. President. I've had a journey with this bill. I started at the beginning of the session, admittedly somewhat uncomfortable with it. Coming out of the disability community, the move towards testing every single student is one that I think has been very important. When you use standardized tests to look across entire populations, you can start to see as a system where we are doing well and where we are failing. What are those gaps uh, from district to district, from subgroup to subgroup? That is incredibly important, and I don't want us to undermine that. I don't want to undermine the idea of standardized testing. But I think that the place that we've gotten lost is what the purpose of that testing is for. The purpose of accountability testing for schools and school districts is supposed to rest with those systems. It's not supposed to become the mark of success or failure or smarts or progress for an individual student because all of these students are different. I appreciate that we have challenges with our graduation rate, we have challenges with reading, we are working on those things, but I don't think that on a student by student basis, it is the smarter balance test that's going to make it better. In my own kids' lives, it's not standardized testing that has helped my daughter go from barely passing her, ge her geometry test at the beginning of this year, or her algebra one test at the beginning of this year, to coming out with a solid B. It's excellent instruction from her teacher, the information that he has taken back from those actual assessments that are done in the classroom based on the instruction that he has provided. It's been her hard work with a tutor and her dad and that teacher and that information that comes back from an assessment that's tailored to her and about her and that holds her accountable that is making her successful this year and that led her to come in the house last night to give me a high five and show me that she has an 86% in that class, which didn't seem possible a while ago. Smarter Balance didn't provide that to her. That was te teaching and real testing. We've already passed legislation this session that would exempt teachers and school districts from being held accountable for the scores that come out on the Smarter Balance tests for this first couple of years while we get these cut scores uh, kind of calibrated to what we did in Oaks. That was the place where I turned on this bill because it made no sense to me that we would hold harmless all of the adults in the system while we make this shift. But the kids who this is supposed to be about, who it impacts the most, we would keep this sitting on their shoulders, even though we have not tested it yet. Now, just because we give families the right to opt out of taking a test that is not supposed to be a measure of individual process, progress, but is supposed to be a measure of system progress, doesn't mean that everybody will do it. And I think how that works is a matter of the way that we communicate that moving forward. When school districts send out this information, it allows us to have fair and accurate information about what opt-out means and what these tests are. It means that we will have consistent kinds of opt-out rates across districts, and it won't depend on who the advocacy groups are that are urging people to opt-out or not opt-out. It also relies on parents to recognize what is right for their kids. My kids have been disappointed. They were thrilled that I wrote, wrote, um, voted for this bill in committee and will vote for this bill now, but you know what? They're not getting opted out. I'm not going to agree to opt them out. I know there are other ways we can demonstrate their proficiency uh, in order for them to meet their high school graduation requirements. Those are conversations that need to be happening more at the district level so that kids aren't walking into these tests thinking their entire future depends on it. Finally, colleagues, I think it is a picture of how messed up the standardized testing culture is that we have people from the White House and the U.S. Department of Education who I would hope have bigger issues to deal with right now on the phone trying to stop a bill about whether or not a kid is going to take a test that really has no relation to what it is that they've earned, learned this year, what their grades are on their report card, or how uh, they are growing and learning and their relationship with their teachers and their schools. That makes no sense and is a sign that the standardized testing culture has gone too far. This is a common sense bill that will help us get it back under control. Kids will still take tests, but let's remember this is about systems, not about individual kids. Individual learning comes from individual teachers who have done tailored tests to hold kids accountable and to nurture them to success. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President, vote explanations. Uh, please file your vote explanation.
Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I voted for this bill for the reasons I said and with the expectation that when this information is communicated to school districts, it will be very clear that it is absolutely unacceptable to urge certain kinds of students to opt out of testing. Uh, this is a decision that rests with parents, not one that is intended to be strongly suggested to particular subgroups. Thank you, Mr. President.